All right, we're gonna do a little miniature haul update organization. We're gonna organize some stuff. I just did a Hot Wheels skate sneaker video on my Too Hunky channel, trying on some of the new sneakers that I got. These are great. If you are interested in that, I did put that over on that channel, but I did get a lot of new sneakers that I wanted to, uh, you know, see if they fit, see how good they look, um, take inventory of so I know what they have. Uh, I think today mostly we're going to be organizing the wooden things that I have. I'm ready to do that um, in the same way that I did in the other videos where I have been organizing into these little boxes that I get from the Dollarama in Canada. Like this is what we were just doing over at Too Hunky with the uh, Hot Wheels skate sneakers. And then just just the other day, I uh, was doing my Christmas in July. You definitely want to check out on this channel um, the Christmas in July. I did organize the stuff a little bit better, and uh, this is the mostly the wooden box. And I have room to grow, which is great. So, like this side over here, the little wooden things. Even though all of this stuff is wooden things which I love the most, which makes me think maybe my channel is a little niche. But then I think, no, a lot of these uh, these people who make dollhouses and stuff, they do like that turn of the century period that I like very much too. So it is very common. Oh, got it rid of these sneakers. Look at these new sneakers with toes. I like those, I like those a lot. But we're going from rubber to wooden products and you might have followed me along when I was organizing these things, and I organized them a little bit better. And what I've decided was I want to put, I guess, the foods together and put the peg people together because that's the kind of thing that I want to put on the shelf, which is why I brought over the shelf here to, to show you. And then also I wanted to show you this it was one of the things that I picked up it was only a dollar seventy-five at the Dollarama, but my intention is to, even though, yeah, and there's a whole video of this coming up soon too, where we're going to sort through my plants, and I'm going to be really, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of the stuff that isn't uh, something that I like, and this actually might be it because there's something wrong with the color which might not show you but the fact that this ball is made with all of these little things that can be separated and then do i have some wooden pots here yeah i don't know if these are going to be then they can be put in to the pots and then we got these ferns and look at how many ferns so i can finally do that terracotta crazy plant lady video where i mean yeah, I wonder how many of these are on here, but I think that there's a lot. We're going to be getting a lot of plants. Now, you could double them up, but uh, I am pleasantly surprised that just one segment is making uh, a lot of room. So I think maybe I also might end up getting rid of my terracotta pots because first, for one thing, the terracotta actually... The terracotta, I mean, the terracotta is a natural color that I really like, which brings me to this rug. And I was going to wait to do, look, look how good all of my stuff looks together. There are other rugs at the dollar store. I also, because I am clumping around, clonking around here, I do get one or two complaints every once in a while about the noise when I'm dropping stuff, which is all the time. So I did want to put some rugs down here, and also it would probably look really nice in the videos to when I put the walls up. I wanted to give myself a little more space here today. I wanted to show you, I brought over a shelf so you can see how things look, but I didn't put up a wall. But you can see, we got a, we got a house thing going on. I left the, the curtain in the background. But I do want to put down um, a rug here. Uh, for videos to, for part of the room. And I have one in my main diorama, which I'm not gonna show you, but you can definitely check out like the cleaning up. There's, um, yeah, there's a few different styles, but I think this one looks more 
more Parisian, like uh, Bridgington kind of turn of the cent, not turn of the century, but more like the 1600s, 1400s, 1600s kind of thing. But then I have um, some, there's a Persian rug, and then there's this like more, um, right now we've got these distressed ones that are very popular, but they're tiny, but they look like giant rugs in one six scale. So that's what's great. Now am I gonna put this rug down so that I can make things a little quieter here? I'm loving how these plants, instant nice plants. What a nice find that was. There was only one of these. They had many different styles of them, and I'm super choosy about the plants, and I'm super choosy about the colors too. Uh, and this one was a little more, it was a little too yellow, but looking at the, looking at it on camera, this was definitely a good choice. I am so happy with my, we're going to have, we're going to make a room and there's going to be ferns all over the place. Crazy plant lady. Now I think there might be something for me to do. Maybe I'm going to rig up some skewer thing where I can and put some weight on it. So we might have to come up with that. I mean, or I'm no, I'm not going to glue them in. Definitely not going to glue them in. Maybe make some little glue balls on some skew skewers to keep them into the pots a little better. I mean, this is fine. It's just I'm so clumsy that I want to be able to make things a little more secure. Here, let's put down this rug just because we can, and uh, I can. Do all of these noises that we're making and I can put down the box. Anyway, this this one is a little rich in tone. I don't know about the Persian one is also burgundy based. So I don't know. This one is more red based. I think yeah, I don't know if the burgundy is gonna fit in with my thing, but they also have this white one. But I don't know if the white one is too stark white. Even though my floors are wooden stark white and they seem to work anyway i don't know if we're gonna am i gonna back up here put this down put this down even more i'm like really shimmering down this is me standing and this is me spreading my legs so that i can kind of be in the picture but it's not about me today it's never about me it's more about this collection and hopefully i don't need to use more than one box so what I'm thinking is what I, what I want to do is when I use these things I put them on shelves and uh, it's like like if I had as much as I love my little plastic toys and everything this is my jam and if I had the option if they were making dolls and action figures out of wood nowadays I would be buying those and I would be getting rid of all of my other toys. Like if I was to design a toy, I would be mixing in the natural elements. I even really like how uh, recycled plastic has this more organic feel to it. And I would love if um, all of my toys and dolls and action figures were made out of this. But here's an example of what I like to do. Now, uh, I mean, a lot of, not a lot of you, but some of you scream at me and say, um, I, I, like, I like everything you do, but I want to paint everything. And I think that is very common for a lot of people, but that's just not my jam. So what I want to do is I want to like put these things on the shelf like this, and all of these things work so well together. I still have not done my nautical beach house, which we wanted to do for the summer. Is the summer almost over? but just mixing all of these little things, even the spools. So I'm gonna put those in my peg, my peg people box too. Like these work as, I don't know, it, they just look fantastic on the shelf. It is, if I found giant spools like this, and in fact, I do have some giant wooden spools that I do put on my shelf and I love them and I actually use some dioramas. So that is the effect that we're going for. And I just want to have these a little more organized. Like I mentioned in one of my last videos, I think that these bins work out really well for if your miniatures need bins. So if you're storing things like this, but this is this is like this is moving. Like there's in real life, I mean, 
in real life I do keep my prized possessions in bins like this and because I just don't have a place for them I'm hoping I'm nesting I'm hoping one day I can move into a, a home all my own and make it as nice as my dioramas um, here's another here's another tall one that would look really good anyway I'm gonna put all of the peg people and all of the spools and I guess the lighthouses anything that looks like a a person and put that together these other things like I don't know I don't really have a purpose for these they just spark so much joy I had to get the spears the spheres in every color I had to get these little bugs in every color and just to let you know that I'm good you can buy half circles and I haven't bought those now that I say that out loud though they probably have potential like why why haven't I bought those half circles they're available at my dollar store but even though every time I see these little wooden things I just want to put them on a shelf and make like there's way too many I only need three of these but also just having you know this box of things like this uh, it sparks so much joy for me the fact that we are um, that I'm organizing them now I am appreciating the stuff I have and it's making me realize what I don't like and what I do like here's an example of me using these bins in a way that is useful that it looks like storage for the one six scale characters and also it's dividing the stuff up together and I do like that I I don't know if I told you afterwards I think I reconfigured so baked goods in one of those containers you, you gotta check out my second video I have the full collection I'm pretty sure I have the full collection I gotta watch more people's micro mini um, haul videos but they have been showing up in the states but I do believe I do have the full collection from all the stuff here is the Asian cuisine and here is the condiments and stuff to go in the refrigerator I bought two packs of each and uh, they're pretty easy to feel I hate feeling for things here are the kitchen accessories the only thing that I noticed on the box was a beige coffee cup and I don't think that like I have every single item that's on the box that's why I think I have every every bin so they have representation from each bag because there's eight in each bag and then here is I think I called this breakfast food originally but then I just put it prepared food now because I had to add the guacamole even though I would love to have guacamole with my fried eggs for I haven't had eggs in a long time I guess I'm kind of vegan now but not really okay and then oh I found I found one of these teeny teeny tinies teeny weenies teeny whatever they're called I found another one of these bags and I thought oh finally because I got two of each of these but then I told myself I only needed one kettle but the kettle comes with a cup and that means I only have one cup so I would like to get a matching cup but I don't know if I'll find these again and then also whenever I look at these I also think I'm so sad that I missed out on series one but maybe maybe they'll reissue every time they'll reissue and also something else that I'm really sad about missing are the Disney princess sneakers and yeah that's that's really the, the, oh, not sneakers shoes they had Disney Mattel Disney princess shoes that fit Barbie dream besties perfectly so I don't know I don't know about what we're gonna do about that either Oh, the thing about the thing about the the mushrooms though the mushrooms look like peg people too so they're the kind of thing that I would want to put on because they look like little little people little gnomes so they're the kind of thing that I wouldn't want to put on the shelf with them which you can't see me doing right now which I knocked over and I mean I try to get every style of mushroom that comes out but I think that they do slight variants some of them have bigger bottoms some of them like yeah uh, there's anyway that, that is why I made this that's why I categorized these so I could be sure of what I had Did I just lose one I'm trying to I don't want to I don't want to get these mixed up all right so let's put the peg people together I know that I have some large peg people right here and they have to go in first so I'm gonna start with that 
so let me start over here. I'm probably going to have to reorganize this stuff afterwards. That's what I always do, and then I, I do it better. But right now, we're going to do this. Will these bins fit in? Also, something that I got at the Dollar Tree that is such a great find. These peg people are from Dollarama. These are from Dollar Tree, and I love these. I love these barrels so much. And they don't come nesting, but they do have them in different sizes. So you have to buy the different sizes, and then you can nest them inside. But I think I'm using the medium size one. Oh no, is that the medium? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, all right. Peg people. I don't know where all the other peg people went. That is my problem. That's what I'm looking for right now. Oh, here it is. I got a box full of peg people. So I'm going to put the like peg people together in the box. So I have three different styles. These again were three packs from the Dollarama, but I got two of each. Now this is a really big thing to put on the shelf, but it's just it's just a really cool. It's what, it's what, it's what I love. What I love. All right. Yeah. The, oh, there's four styles. So that's how they sold four of each. Those are going to take up a lot of space because it seems like I need to use three segments times four. So that's a lot. And I'm going to put these honey, these honeycomb things in here. What I do with these, well, one one was useful. It's my butter churn. That that's I just stick that down here in the the diorama. All right. Okay. All right, these buckets. I think that I got those at a a different store. I guess they're not going to go in here. I got to put planters and stuff together, and then let's finally get the peg people. We'll start with the peg people, and then we'll expand from there. So if I've already made these into three segments, then that's what's going to happen here. So we'll make this. Yeah, you know what? I don't think that I'm going to have enough room for everything that I have, but we'll see. So, boys without legs go into one section. Let's get that other one in here. Oh, maybe that can go into a smaller. Yeah, I can fit that into a smaller one. Oh, man. It's getting confusing now. Where do I divide it? This is the, this is the problem. This is the problem where I I can't do this live on camera. Oh, no, 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 but we need to. Maybe all the way across will do the biggest components. I know that these guys take up a whole, a whole row. We don't have anybody else taking up a whole row, though. So I think I'm going to have to put two sections right next to each other. So I have this style, and that's going to go in here. How is a video? How is this me making a video? And then I'm going to put this style right next to it. Wait, that doesn't make sense. I was I was right initially. It's just that this one, I don't need as much space. All right. I know that I'm just going to move this stuff around afterwards anyway. All right. So the lagged ones are going there. Can you believe this is what I what I concern myself with in the day? But it, it does it does make me happy. And then I'll be able to see what I have so much easier. The stuff gets so lost in the shuffle. So I'm saving these bigger ones for later because there's not as many. I know that the little girl ones fit perfectly into one of these. I think that the, these were part of the same collection from, can I remember which stores? These little, these little two, these two kind, I definitely got at the Dollarama in Canada. But you know, all of this stuff can be found on Timu or I don't know, I don't know what other those these little wooden shops that uh, you can buy from that they don't ship to Canada, unfortunately, or it's really expensive. 
All right, and then we have these ones, which can go into a smaller compartment. And then I'm just gonna set this aside because we've gotten rid of all of the peg people in here. All right, so let's move this. You wouldn't believe how many of these I have now, and then I can't bring myself to get rid of them. Okay, so spools. Let's do the spools. So we got these teeny tiny ones. Now that I have a compartment, maybe I can start at the other end. That'll be. So the teeny tiny ones, I'll stick all together. And then I shouldn't have put stuff on the shelf because then I don't know what my inventory is. Little girl going in here. I have these ones. And then these are all random. Some of the spools I even thrifted. So I can't, it's not like a, a true collection of what's available. And then these ones, I don't think we're ready for those yet. That's going in here. We've got a mushroom that has to go into the mushroom case. That's that size. Joy sparking. All right, and then what else do I have here? So then I have oh, more tiny spools, but I think that they're a different size than these ones. That's the, that's the funny part. You know what, those are exactly the same. You know what, I guess, oh, I divided them up because I did not have room for them all in one box. That's not an issue anymore. We're putting them together in this box. Is this enough? Is, is a two segment enough? Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so I love that. I love saving space so we can spread this stuff out. All right, so then we have these ones. Let's try to fit them into one segment. Oh, and I can. But then I don't know if I'm going to put the one one segments in the middle of that. Do I need a three segment? No. Oh, there's another one. Oh, it still fits. Good. And then I have... How many of these do I have? I thought I had four of these. Uh-oh. Drop one on the floor. It could totally change everything. I think that they're not going to fit. No, oh, no. Those are going to... No, yeah, no. It's like playing Tetris sometimes, but also you want it to be easy. You don't have to do it. Oh, I think that we could fit three this way. Oh, no. No, can't do that either. Looks like we're gonna we're gonna have to move to two for that. All right, so then we have these guys. I know that they fit into a two segment, which, or do we have another two segment? Where do I put that at? And then close pins. What? Is that it? Are we fitting? I thought I had way more spools than this. Let me double check. Let me look around here. We have, are you telling me that I have room to grow? This is so good. Um, does that mean that I have to move the mushrooms into this? I don't think we have enough room. We definitely don't have enough room for the mushrooms. Can they fit into the into this segment? No. They have to fit into a two segment too. Let me make another two segment over here. Which I'm definitely going to be thinking about this and rejuggling. Oh, but something that we did not consider yet. Which I have more of these. I don't where's this? What's going on? There are these guys. And I have them in a couple different sizes. But I can see that uh, they definitely need two compartments. And now I have plenty other ones. I also have clothespins. And I have them divided because ones, some are smaller than other ones. And I don't want to mix them up. But we're not putting the clothespins in this section. I guess those are going in the other ones. Or maybe clothespins actually. If something's going to work in these bins, it's these clothespins. But it does bother me that these aren't the same size. It makes me like, let's get rid of the bigger ones. Because the, you know how these are kind of oversized anyway for 1 6 scale. But they still do work because clothespins do come in multiple different sizes. But the smaller version is definitely the better. Isn't this cute? Spark and joy. All of my, my elements with the chrome and the natural wood. And I can't 
but I think those we definitely want to keep in the bins. The plates I want to keep separate because I have I bought these these ones I bought from Timu, and these are like these are like dream wooden plates. I think in my real life I want to get some nice wooden plates where I can you know drop them and not uh, break them. This is this is the stuff that I have to consider. <laughs> I have used some of these already. I don't have the full. Let, let's take a look since we'll bring in the micro minis down here. We've got uh, a croissant and some chocolate. Like, well, who doesn't? Isn't that the perfect, most delicious little snack I've ever seen? Um, anyway, it is dished out on the, the the food itself. Are colors that I love, and is dished out on a plate that I love. So that's down in the diorama too. We definitely have to do another tour video of the diorama for sure. Pots are going to go somewhere else. I have lighthouses somewhere. Where are they? The lighthouses came in different sizes. Maybe they're still in here. Are they still in here? No. But those things don't really work. I don't want to put those into my, my tag people section. I can, for now, store these things in here. I love that I have more of these totes because I keep running out of them because my minis keep getting their own collections. So they have all these tiny things that they're collecting and they need storage for them. I have more tools. I want to bring over uh, tools and put the rest of the tools in with my screwdrivers. I think I got those from Michael's which I'm afraid to go to. I mentioned that in a video before too. I haven't been to Michael's in a long, long time and I'm afraid to go because I know that the stuff can get a little more expensive than uh, what I can find at the Dollarama. Oh, here they are. The stuff, it fell over in the, in the dollhouse. I don't have too much of a mess. I was complaining about that the last time. I don't have my front room cleared out yet, but I think I think we might have, I don't. I love my setup. I love the diorama setup so much, but here we go. Let's, uh, we got, I knew that I had more stuff than I needed. Can they fit in the, the smallest one? Let's stagger them. Oh, I think, that, I think that these are fitting into a single compartment. Oh yeah, I love that. These are so nice. Um, again, these are from Dollar Tree, two different sizes. I really want to make that nautical room inspired by those. But that's nice that they're fitting in there. And then I do have another size of spools. So these ones, these are more, they have more depth. They kind of match these ones. I don't remember where I got those. Can those fit into, I don't think. No, 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 they, they need to. So I definitely have to do some juggling around here to straighten things up the way that I want it better. I, mean, I like to put, I like to put them in order and stuff, but I redid it. What a, what a funny video. But here is my, uh, my peg people, my doll, my dolls for dolls collection. Uh, turn of the century pioneer doll toys. So that's what that's what they get to play with, and also the spools work good as jugs and uh, glasses and just I mean just cool spools sitting on your shelf. So all of these things will definitely be incorporated in the future, and uh, yeah, I, mean, I guess I will make some of these. I don't know if to put holiday stuff together. I do have these eggs. Eggs are pretty generic though. They can be used not only at Easter but all year round. Not happy with the shape of this egg, but I mean, I am. But it could be a better egg shape. But it, it definitely has potential. Anyway, I love my little wooden things. I do have to sort it out what I'm going to do with my my pots and stuff. Oh, here's one of the here's one of my new wooden pots. Yeah, it seems to me it's just that you know how much I love wood so much it does seem that I should probably get rid of uh, the terracotta ones because they're heavy and I'm just gonna break them 
and I mean, maybe I can do one terracotta room. The fact that um, I bought them over the years and the fact that I had this great big buy of them recently, but they came, the ones that I just bought came with these wooden pots too. So it was definitely a good purchase. But this, I am so happy with the ferns. And the uh, ferns are, ferns are pretty awesome plants. They're like, they're tasteful and uh, the scale of these ones are so good like, even with these buckets i think these buckets i get at um, a store called wow what a deal which i also have to check in i avoided going into that store the other day too because i knew that it might take up too much time and they do get little wooden things um, every once in a while that you don't see at any other store so that's a little extra store that I have in Canada but do check out yeah I like that my pots I, I, I in real life too so I, I do when I'm making my miniatures I am considering all of the rules that I follow in real life too uh, but mixing and matching pots doesn't always work and I, it looks a little messy for me especially when you've got some terracotta ones but the fact that these ones are all light wood tone and when you mix them together they still look good look at all that variance let's try one of the oh I tried a jumbo pot oh I've got one of these bigger ones let's check out this one of these bigger wooden terracottas see how that looks yeah we have so many plants here I was waiting to find the perfect plant that I could put all over the house and I was thinking that which we still will have to do I was think, thinking that I would make like what are those called um, what are those Greek flowers called um, oh man I can never remember words when I'm making videos no, 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 that's it's tip of my tongue. That's how it works. Anyway, yes, crazy plant, uh, I guess crazy plant man, even. Where's that bigger one? Oh yeah, this one looks like it needs more. Or we need to raise it up, or we need to put it on a stick, or we need to incorporate what we've done before. Uh, oh, here we go. Where I used a, a sponge as a base and uh, cut out the perfect place so that's my faux soil and then i took some wires we do have to we have to go over all of my plants though and we have to consider uh yeah we have to consider what we're gonna what we're gonna make we are we will have to make i can't find flowers that i like but again i haven't i'm only looking at the dollar store and i should probably take a look at michael's because they probably have miniature flowers that look more realistic or we make them ourselves okay this was this was, was an amazing deal I can't wait to put a bathroom filled with ferns we definitely want to do that these would have looked so good in the bathroom diorama I did not too long ago this was the missing plants that we needed but this is so good I'm very happy with these all right thank you so much for joining me today in this little sort through um, kind of a haul we didn't try any Hot Wheels skate sneakers but if you want to see me try those on some Ken dolls you can check out the two hunky and I've also done that here like comment share and subscribe thank you so much for joining me today all of the links are on my home page is of both channels we'll see you then bye